Okay, so remember last time we talked about different kinds of uh, marketing. We talked with you about uh, concentrated marketing. We talked with you about individual marketing, mass marketing. We talked about one-on-one -on -one, one -on -one marketing. And so today we'll continue talking about choosing a target market. And choosing target market is very important for the success of your company. And when you choose, uh, when you choose a target market, you should cons consider the following. Every time you target, uh, you choose a target market, you should uh, know that the, the customer should benefit uh, with specific needs. If the customer has specific needs, they should um, have benefits. And also, when you choose a target market, you should consider concern for vulnerable segments. Uh, what do you think will be a good vulnerable segment of people in the society? That's a question for you. Like age, gender. Mm -hmm. So when uh, people are old, they're over, I don't know, six years old or seven years old, they'll be vulnerable segment. Okay. What else? Place of living. What? Location. Location, okay. People in, uh, by location you mean people are very in the uh, in a very remote areas yes. like villages. Okay, what else? So um, product positioning is also very important. It's important how you position your product, and it's important it's important how a company position its product. And but product positioning is the definition of product positioning. Product uh, position is the way the product is defined by consumers on important attributes. The place the product occupies in consumers' minds relative to competing product, products. For example, how one product is different from another one. For example, when you grind a detergent, how Tide is different from Ariel, or how when you buy a car, how is BMW is different from Mercedes. For example, Tide, company Tide positions itself as a powerful, um, powerful all-purpose panel detergent, where Ivory, Ivory is another detergent that's positioned as the gentle detergent for, uh, for fine washes and baby clothes. Um, have you ever been at a Subway restaurant? Uh, so while some of you maybe have been to Subway restaurant and they position themselves as this have a logo eat fresh and eat fresh means that they position themselves as they always have fresh food and they all have fresh meat fresh vegetables etc. But for example another restaurant Olive Garden Olive Garden considers itself when when this their logo is uh, you are here uh, when you are here you are family. So Olive Garden is uh, considered to be a family, uh, family style restaurant and every time you go there you'll be treated as a part of the family who comes for dinner. And uh, you, if you've been to Olive Garden restaurant you know that it's a lot of food, they have huge portions, they have like family style portions, salads. So you can see a few dimensions here. So first one is uh, luxury and performance. And then price. Price is uh, it's listed in the thousand of dollars. So you can see here it's all different cars, right? And on this, what do you see on this map? So what do you see here? Like different types of cars and then mm, the cost of them rise. Okay. So what will be closer to the luxury? What kind of car brands will be closer to the luxury brands? This one, yeah, Navigator, mm -hmm. and what else? Es Escalade. Escalade. So Navigator yes. and Escalade will be on the most luxury part. And performance. It's like Hummer. Hummer two, Hummer H two, and what else? Range Rover will also be close to that. I think it's interesting that even though Range Rover kind of close in the performance, it's much more expensive. And also you can see Lexus LX470. It's also kind of between between luxury and performance, and it's also very expensive. 